Hello everyone, this is Mohammed Salehi. Today I am going to show you how to make Afghani kofta or Afghani meatballs. So for this one we have one pound of ground beef, we have uh, ground black pepper, we have uh, salt, um, ground turmeric, and then we have the secret ingredients which is um, herati um, coriander seeds. So this is really floral and intense. I usually want to grind my spices right when I cook uh, because when you keep, keep the spices in whole seeds they tend to have uh, an intense and a more powerful flavor and smell uh, as well as um, they, are, they look fresher, they, 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 are, they, they have a, a fresher smell. So um, also we have um, uh, ground, uh, just grounded some uh, onions, we have some garlics and then we have uh, some grounded potato. Then we have one egg and these ones, the pickles and the, um, the tomatoes, we're going to use them a little bit later on. So first of all, I'm going to mix everything together. I'll put the egg and then I'll put my um, potato and garlic and, um, and then my uh, onions. And now I'm going to add my spices together with the salt. And then I'm now going to mix them together. Okay, now that the meatballs are completely mixed, like the, I mean the ground beef are mixed with all of our ingredients, I turned on the pan of oil over there to make sure they are ready. And then as you can see, I already have my I made my meatballs ready and now I'm going to add them on top of the oil. So let's add them. Um, the coriander seed is like a little bit citric uh, and it's really good uh, tasting. It adds a little bit of like um, flavor of uh, lemon, like dried lemon and it's really strong, it tastes really good, so that is a secret ingredient on this recipe. So we have, they get cooked very well, all of them. So I think um, six of them at the same time would be enough, because we have to also uh, make sure both sides are cooked. Okay, now let's see if uh, we have to switch for the other side as, as well. So as you can see, we wanna make sure that um, we change the side of it so that it doesn't get burned, or this still needs to get cooked a little bit. So I'm going to flip it back. That one definitely needs to be, the other side, this needs a little bit more time. Uh, yeah, we can, we can change these. So you wanna make sure that you turn them. So now that they are uh, cooked, or basically broiled in the oil, so now what you wanna do is, you wanna get these and add them on top of our um, oil with the to, uh, tomato paste. So I'm going to put all of them over there. Put all of our tomatoes and then uh, the pepper, the green pepper on top of it. And now I'm going to add pretty much, uh, not a full cup, but like almost a full cup of water on top of it. And then I'm going to close the, uh, the cup of it. And now it's, it's good to go. You put it on the creep for a spine for probably 30 minutes and then it will really get cooked because in this style you wanna make sure that the food is cooked not only by the oil, but also with the water and with the steam. So you get all the flavor of it. Um, I'm gonna open it later on, thank you. Okay, it's time to see our Afghani kofta. Wow, so it's all good to go now. And here we go. Our kofta is ready to go. This is Afghani kofta. It has coriander seeds, which makes it really, really tasty. Oh, wow. Um, I wish you enjoyed this and make it at your home and enjoy it.